I'm Christina Lopez. I'm a visual artist based in Manila, Philippines. My work involves uh, the traditional sense of image production to forms more involved with new media. So this includes the use of different materials and processes. Some of these are traditional or more known, older, like woodworking, stone carving, uh, traditional sculpting or printmaking. Uh, this also involves newer forms or newer materials like the use of cold road steel or copper and direct prints on these kinds of surfaces. Hello, hola, merhaba. I'm Wawi Navarroza and we're here in my studio in Manila, Philippines. My work as a visual artist is not just really visual. It's actually very 360, very radial in terms of how it is informed and it's very dense and it will always be different depending on the place it's shown. When it's shown in Manila, it, it will have a different context. When it's shown in Singapore, it will have a different context. And that way, it's alive. I usually work with identity and I try to twist how identity is portrayed in popular media, even in sci-fi movies. As an artist, I don't just get inspired by other people's artwork. I'm lucky enough that I take inspiration from friends and the people around me. And it's these interactions through daily life that I understand identity and the image more and I try to explore that in web. Moving from place to place, the only thing that was constant was the changing of landscapes. My studio was destroyed by a typhoon. Uh, literally, the, the walls caved in. And as a cr creative, I was put into question, what is destruction and what is creative force? So I went to the volcano. I went to Mayon Volcano the next day. And so it started the big project of volcano series. I went to different volcanoes. I started shooting the big landscapes. I started shooting the stars, the big expanse, trying to ask, where is your place in it? Where's creation? What's destruction? The work for C Focus is titled WWW. So this work is a globe, a decaying globe, purposely rusted, uh, to shape into the form of the World Wide Web logo. So I aim to show through this installation that from something that is decaying or something that is uh, not in its ideal form, something you might emerge. The exhibitions I do often try to illustrate how the virtual is inseparable from material realities. And I'm interested in how art can be used as a tool to explore alternative possibilities or things that have not yet come to life. It seems that I always come back to self-portraits to say that I'm still here and this is how a woman can look like who is making art. And I'm also addressing this gap in the history of art that women has not been documented so well. So whenever I make self-portraits, it's also standing in for all of these gaps also in art history that women were put in the background. And I hope that younger artists will be inspired to to put themselves forward and not be ashamed of where they're from and who they are. <laughs>